Hey, thanks for coming earlier to help me set up. Yeah, no, of course. Everyone else is so busy these days. I know, I have nothing better to do, but hey, Soho giving is only once a year. Soho giving? I love it. Me too. Now we just wait. Hey guys! We're finally here! Oh hey! Oh thanks for coming guys, come on in! Thanks for hey. having us! Thank you so much! Thanks, it was really chilly out yeah, there. Yeah, it is. Hey, sorry we're late. We had basketball practice. And I needed a ride. Hey, no worries, I'm just glad you could make it. Come on in! Thanks! Thanks. Did you? No. Oh. Look, it's public. Like, we were on a break. Oh, So I'll be able to get it, right? Mm -hmm. Wait, Rosie, who else did you invite? I don't know. Everyone else is here. Yo, sorry I'm so late. Brian, you're in Soho TV? Of course I am. Every time I go into the Soho lab, Mr. West is like, Brian, do you have a package for me? Yeah, you owe us two packages. Not good. <laughs> no way! That's exactly how he sounds. You guys are great at making Mr. West impressions. Thank you. Yeah, I wonder who else is good at doing impressions. Let's watch this package on Southfield doing their best Mr. West impressions. What's up, Southfield? It's Seven Watkins, and today I'm gonna go around the halls to see who is the best Mr. West impression. Brian, dude, am I gonna see a package from you this week? It's due by Friday. You got a lot of work ahead of you. You're gonna vote for my door, right? Vote for my door, 106, you're gonna vote? Okay, go, go, go. We're gonna talk about sanding, okay? Don't, th don't touch me. Rosie, what are you doing? Come on, you need to start reading the episodes. I'm Mr. West, and I want everybody to know that coding is fun, and coding is for everyone. Owen, this is my friend. Looks like a little elephant, okay? We're going to take the little elephant, and we're going to use the elephant to sand our wood nice and smooth. Don't sand too much. Don't sand too little. After long consideration, the winner of the best Mr. West impression is the one, the only, Mr. Fister. Thank you, everybody. I just want to take this time to, you know, give my gratitude to all of my fans. You know, I truly do, you know, take my acting seriously. And uh, Mr. Wes, a real buddy of mine, and uh, I really thank you, and uh, we'll see you next time. Back to you in the studio. Devin, you can't eat the pie. The rest of the food isn't out yet. But the pie is my favorite. Can't you wait till the rest of the food is ready? And everyone is sitting down. My favorite Thanksgiving food is cranberry sauce. I like cranberry sauce on the side too. A side? I like a big bowl of it. Are you serious? That's kind of gross. You're just a hater. But we don't have any cranberry sauce. What? Children, children, please, let's just calm down and let's look at what Southold's favorite Thanksgiving food is. What's up, Southold? I'm Travis Stepanowski. I'm going to be interviewing some people about Thanksgiving. I'm here with... Maria. Ryan. Belle. Emily. Mrs. Basso. Lauren. What is your favorite Thanksgiving food? Um, gyros. Turkey. Mashed potatoes. Um, probably pumpkin pie. I love them all, but I'd have to say stuffing. Stuffing. What is your favorite Thanksgiving dessert? Um, probably pumpkin pie. Ice cream cake. Probably pumpkin pie. <laughs> Apple pie. Apple pie. Cookies. What is your favorite Thanksgiving memory? Um, when I went to Canada for Thanksgiving. Hanging out with family. Um, probably baking cookies with my family every year. Um, when I burnt the turkey. Mm. Um, I think just getting together with family, spending quality time, eating great food. Hanging out with my family. This from Travis Epinoski. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Back to you in the studio. Guys, where are Rosie and Ariana? Oh my god, what if it's La Llorona again? Thomas, they're just in the kitchen. Oh. I feel like we're forgetting something. Me too. Wait, did you ever take the turkey out of the oven? Oh, oh my god, no, it's totally burnt. But you know what I'm grateful for? That we got this chicken as backup. And I'm grateful that my smoke detectors doesn't have any batteries, or else they would not miss this chicken. I wonder what Southwood is grateful for. Let's watch this package of gratitude and find out. Hi, Southwood. This is Rosie Lopez, and we're going to find out what Southwood is grateful for this year. 
Hi, I'm Brian Henry, and I'm thankful for my friends, my family, and Turkey. Hi, this is Mr. Stahl, and I'm grateful for a fantastic Soho TV class this year, especially you, Rosie, and you, Ariana, who have just, uh, everybody gets along, and it's so positive and happy, and, uh, and it makes me happy. Hi, I'm Mackenzie. <laughs> I am Kelsey. And I'm grateful for Kelsey. <laughs> and I'm grateful for Mackenzie. <laughs> I'm grateful for my dog, Denim, and I'm grateful for working in Southhold. Hi, I'm Stephanie Lopez, and I'm grateful for my brother and my sister. I'm Quinn Brewer, and I'm thankful for Target's wide selection of Care Bear t-shirts. Hi, my name's Anna Cooper, and I'm very thankful for Kelsey Newman and the water she lets me drink. I'm Rosie, and I'm grateful for my family, Ariana, and the Soho TB class. I'm Evan Chorichewski, and I'm grateful for my friends and family. I'm Ariana, and I'm grateful for my best friend slash Soho TV producer, Rosie Lopez. She, I love her with all my heart, and she's like my platonic soulmate. I'm Mrs. Elwood. I am grateful for my family, my students who are awesome, coffee, Hi, Mr. West here, and this year I'm extremely grateful for so many things. So happy to have my wonderful kids and my wife, and I'm also grateful for gravy because it makes everything taste so much better. I'm grateful for Soho giving. I can't wait. Now we know what Soho is grateful for. Have a great Thanksgiving, and back to you in the studio. Where's the turkey, guys? I'm starving. Me too. Okay, turkey's ready. That turkey looks a little small. I'm no ornithologist, but that's a chicken. No, the turkeys are small this year because of, I'm sorry, an orna what now? Ornithologist, that's a bird expert. I don't need to be a bird expert to understand that this place is lacking in Thanksgiving decorations. Is this not good enough for you? Yeah, I guess so. You just needed some more to get into the Thanksgiving spirit. Oh, well, I'm sorry I couldn't get you in the Thanksgiving spirit. Well, maybe you can get some more ideas on this package about a Thanksgiving craft. Hi Southwood, it's Phoebe Fink, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a felt fall decoration. For this project, you're going to need two colors of felt, I'm using orange and green, a needle, and a foam block to felt on. To start your pumpkin, first start by shaping it into a circle, and then felting it into place. This is the longest step. It could take up to 15 minutes. Once the felt has been made into a circle, begin to make the stem of the pumpkin with the other color felt. Once the felt has been made into a circle, begin to make the stem of the pumpkin with your other color felt. Form this felt into a circle as well, and then attach it to your pumpkin. For the last step, felt grooves into the pumpkin. They should look like evenly spaced crescents. Your pumpkin is now complete. This has been Phoebe Fame for Soho TV. Have a happy fall. Okay, we can start eating now. Wait, we have to say what we're thankful for. You're so right. I'm thankful for Mr. Keel. I'm thankful for Harry Styles, but I'm not thankful that he shaved his head. Ugh. Ugh. I'm thankful for Care Bears. I'm thankful for Pocket Cookie. Thank you. I'm thankful that Rosie hosted this amazing Thanksgiving dinner for us. I'm thankful for the boys cross country team making it to states. Big runner guy. Wait, Brian, that's so cool. We have a cross country team? Even I knew we had a cross country team. Let's see this package on cross country state highlights.
turkey was really good, Rosie. It tasted suspiciously like chicken, but it was so good. I'm so hungry. What's for dessert? We have some pie, cookies, your choice. You guys should have had me bring dessert. I make a mean pumpkin pie. That's so true. I've had it, she's not lying. In fact, let's watch this package that Corlin made about her mini pumpkin pies. What's up, Southfold? It's Corlin Rempe. Today, I'm gonna to be making a sweet treat, but this time, I'll actually be able to say. This is a fairly simple pumpkin pie recipe. It's even easier since we're using mini pumpkin pie shells. For our dry ingredients, we have salt, sugar, ground cloves, ground cinnamon, and ground ginger. For our wet ingredients, we have 100% pure pumpkin puree, evaporated milk, and two large eggs. Now that our spices are mixed, I already added them to the bowl with the eggs and I added the majority of the pumpkin. Now you're going to gradually add your evaporated milk. Now you're going to fill up your pie shells with the pumpkin pie mixture. So there was a lot of extra batter, but we're just going to pop these in the oven and see how they turn out. There you are, Southfold. Now you know how to make your own mini pumpkin pies. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Back to you in the studio. Thank you so much for having us, Rosie. The food was so good. Yeah, even though we had chicken and not turkey. At least be grateful there even is food. Mm. I still can't believe Brian's in Soho. For the last time, I make packages. Sometimes. Well, thanks for coming to Soho Giving. Of yeah, course, it was great. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love Soho Giving. <laughs> I am not hosting the Christmas special. Definitely not gonna be at my house. We can force Quinn to do it or something. Well, I'm just thankful we're all together. Thanks for watching Soho TV. Happy Soho Giving!